and side 3 uh, subject uh, animal nutrition and feeding hope that uh, you are all in good health and doing good in your uh, other subjects and uh, having uh, already excited with what you are doing in this uh, first semester okay so uh, i already gave you an uh, introductory uh, video with regards to our subject and site 3 okay so i had given you an overview of what our subject is all about i have given you the different topics that we are going to be discussing for the whole semester and the different activities that we are going to do for the whole semester especially in our laboratory activities okay so as of now we will be discussing the first chapter of your uh, subject and side one which is the introduction to animal nutrition okay so animals are biological transformers of dietary matter and energy into high quality foods such as meat eggs and milk for human consumption as well as raw materials such as wool and leather for clothing and accessories for humans so uh, this statement or uh, paragraph states that all the animals tanang hayop are the ones are transformers or sila <coughs> ang the the produce okay they are transforming their energy and other uh, nutrients that they are uh, using into food such as the meat eggs and milk and which is gigamit uh, sa mga tao so animals they eat then they use up the nutrients from the food that they are eating and the animals uh, in return giving out uh, products which is uh, meat eggs and milk that will be consumed by the humans no so muna siya. animals they will eat something then after eating something they will produce uh, high quality foods like the uh, ones that i already said okay then uh, animals are also employed to produce enzymes and proteins to be used to treat human health problems so besides uh, uh, animals producing high quality foods okay uh, animals also produce enzymes and proteins that uh, is needed by human in terms of human health problems. So, mga problema uh, when it comes to mga sakit sa tao, humans are also producing those things. No? So, not just high quality foods, but also uh, products that can help treat uh, uh, human health problems. Okay. Animals need food to survive, grow, develop, and reproduce. Thus, animal nutrition is a foundational subject of great importance to the production of livestock. So, this statement says that ang mga animals gakinahanglan o pagkaon. Okay? Kay para sila uh, makasurvive, mutubo, mudevelop, o managhan. Okay? So that's why this subject, animal nutrition, is a good foundation and has a big importance in the production of livestock. No? So kinanglan ang nutrition, animal nutrition, uh, is very important, especially sa production of livestock animals. Okay? So, nutrition definition. So, we will try to define nutrition. So, nutrition, it focuses on the dietary nutrient 
needs of animals, primarily those in agriculture and food production. So, the nutrition is uh, uh, it focuses on the different uh, dietary uh, needs of an animals. Okay, so kung saan mga dietary needs sa animals, so to more nutrients. Okay. It is also defined as the process of giving, uh, providing, and obtaining the food necessary for the health and growth of animals. So, ang nutrition also is, is, it is providing the nutrients, right? But it also, before you are the uh, the nutrients will be provided. It will undergo processes uh, in which the food uh, can be converted. Uh, for health and uh, for the need in health and growth of the animals. Okay, so the act it is also the act or process of nourish or being nourished. It is extremely very important to meet nutritional requirements of livestock in maintaining acceptable performance of neonatal growing, finishing, and breeding animals. So uh, this also statement. Said says that uh, it is very important that kinanglan ang ang requirement in terms of nutrients sa osaka livestock animal is very important for the purpose of maintaining their performance na maintain ang ila ang uh, uh, what's this peak sa ila ang performance no especially sa neonatal kanang sa pagkuros and pagpanganak growing kanang sa mga gatubo finishing kanang for uh, uh, to be marketed already and sa mga breeding animals so mga breeders na po so very important nga mamit ang ila ang nutritional requirements every stages of the animal's life uh, pagkuros uh, paganak pa sa mga anak na uh, offspring sa gatubo o sa marketable uh, animals lain-lain na siya o nutritional requirements. So that's why uh, it's very important that the nutrition that is given or the food that's given to the animals should fit the nutritional requirements of that certain animal. Okay? Animal nutrients are basically provided by food. So, take note. Ha? Ang nutrients, dili na siya mahatag uh, in any other way. It is provided by the food. Kung usay gipakaon ninyo sa imong hayop, mo na diha ang, diha nila makuha ang nutrients. Okay? So, kung gapakaon ka ani, you are giving them uh, forages, the grasses. Okay? Uh, yeah, ng nutrients. If you are giving them commercial feeds or or, or mixed feed, uh, own formulated feeds, diha nila kwaon ang nila ang nutrients. Food nutrients are utilized as the main source of energy by the animal via various processes, including digestion or absorption. So kung anang gipang kaon nila, uh, they are their source of energy, and they can be obtained by different processes. Okay? So, what are those processes involved in nutrition? First one is food intake. Kanang pagpakaon. Kanang gikan sa, gikan sa ilang kananan, ilang gikaon. That is food intake. That is the first process. Next is digestion. Kanang ang pagkaon, naa na silang digestive system. Okay? So, it will undergo processes na po siya dito sa digestion. Digestive system. Next is absorption. Absorption means here that the food that was digested, okay, that the food that was digested, it will absorb the nutrients that is being extracted there. Okay. Next is excretion. Katuna ng mga uh, waste product after product nga nakwaan na og nutrients na pagkaon. Okay. That is excretion. Okay, so what is the importance of nutrition to animals? It's a big deal. 
nga nang importante man ang nutrition sa animals. Okay. Nutrition is important to animals for a different or variety of reasons. First one is energy. We give nutrition to animals for the purpose of energy. Energy is for the ability of the animal's body to perform vital function. So we need to give them the, 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 the food so that they'll get energy out of that food that they, they were eating so that that the body of the animal can do well, can function well normally. Okay? They can do certain activities because of the nutrition that they were given. Next is growth and maintenance. To maintain body temperature, development of the body structure, produce milk and reproduce. So, we give nutrition to the animals. It's because for the reason of growth and maintenance. Para matubo ang inyong hayop. Okay? Development of body structure. Maintenance. Okay? Uh, to maintain the health status of your animals. Okay? And uh, just to maintain what they are producing. So, kung ang imong hayop, gapudus o milk, okay, you need nutrition. If your animals is... Uh, are breeders and you are you are you are doing reproduction you need nutrition okay para uh, your breeders can perform well in terms of uh, a breeding then kanang maburo sila okay and until nga manganak sila okay next is health health to prevent health problems that can result to treatment cause or even fatality so we need nutrition to animals that should be given to animals para for health purposes. Okay, kung wala proper nutrition ang inyo ang mga animals, uh, for sure there will be health problems. Uh, basically, not indirectly nga agi sa pagkaon, but agi sa pagkaon ninyo nga wala proper nutrition nga nadawat ninyong hayop, nya na ay uh, mga sakit within the environment that can be contagious to your animal. Eat the animals that uh, uh, is there without proper uh, nutrition can be contaminated or can be affected with that diseases. No? So, kinanglan po siya of proper nutrition. Next is animal body system function. To work together properly. So, sa mga kayo mga body system sa animal. So, katong mga digestive system, circulatory system, uh, excretory system, nervous system, and so on and so forth. Those system needs proper nutrition. Okay? Ipos about the kinanglan tong mga different body system na to of nutrition para they can work together as one and be working properly. Okay? So that is uh, the importance of nutrition to animals. Okay? So what is the relationship between animal nutrition to human population? So kung Ang saan mo po yung may relasyon between sa, pag, sa nutrition sa animals o sa population, sa tao. Okay. We should think that what the animals provide the humans. Animal products from important livestock sources such as beef, pork, eggs, eggs wool, and others. So, yun yung muna naon. Ang saan may gigubahid sa mga animals para nato sa mga tao. So, ang animal products muna yung gigubahid sa mga tawo or nato. Okay? So, unsa man ang mga animal products kan? Beef, pork, eggs, wool, the milk, other uh, other products that is that is uh, given by the animals. Animal products are good sources of nutrients for human. Okay, so ning matag animal products so katong mga meat, okay? Humans consume the meat. Ba? Mo consume ta sa meat. The baboy meat the baka meat, the chicken meat, na? we consume them. If the animals have no proper nutrition, those food, or those products that is consumed by human, is not that good food. Diba? The meat that we are going to consume would be under nutrient. Okay? Under nourish. Okay, di man po siya properly uh, uh, 
uh, nourish ang atong gipakaon sa tuang animal. Okay? It also gives nourishments to our body and also protection. So that's what I mean, no? Kung sakto og nutrition ang animal, uh, kita ang mga tao nga consume sa animal products uh, can gives proper nourishment and also protection to our body. Food and clothing are two basic human needs provided by the animal. So take note, food and clothing. So that's that alone you can see the relationship between animal nutrition and human. It's not just about what animals can give to humans, but the animals also need human intervention for them for them to live and produce. So it is a circle of life. So Kanina, itong isgutan, it's about animal to human. No? Animal nutrition to human. What's, what's it effect to human population? But this statement, last statement alone, uh, says that the animals need humans, need human in its life. Okay? Sa ilaang kinabuhi. Because most of animals that we are producing now are domesticated animals. Domesticated animals needs human intervention, needs human assistance, needs human help para makaproduce na sila og tarong og animal products para nga ato ang magamit. Okay, so it's just a circle of life. Kung ang animals wala na properly nourish, wala matagig saktong nutrition, the human population that's consuming that one mo suffer san no kung ang ang human population would not take care of the animals that uh, have been in uh, that they are being uh, uh, managing those animals will not have a proper nutrition they will not produce well so it's just a circle of life okay so that would be the, the chapter 1 of our uh, subject on side 3. Hopefully, you, you understand. And if you don't understand, if you didn't understand, uh, just message me, uh, ask questions if you like. And uh, we'll, just, uh, we'll just expound it later. Okay? So after this, maybe I'll send a message to give you an assessment with regards to this uh, topic. Okay, so uh, just wait for uh, the updates with regards to our face-to-face uh, -face class and with regards to our different uh, laboratory activities that we're going to do. Okay, so just message me for questions and clarifications and uh, try to, to review this video so that you can uh, understand freely. Uh, I don't want nga mo, mo like lang, mo comment. I want you to understand what uh, the lecture video is all about. Okay? So, thank you and be kind to Anna.